Hey guys and girls, welcome to this week's episode of Watching Deer Antlers Grow. We're now into August, so we don't have a whole lot of growing season left. We don't think until they'll start, begin to uh, get those uh, the velvet off their horns. We'll begin to see what they really look like when they have hard horns. But they are still growing. We're gonna see some differences this week from what we saw last week. And we have a, a big surprise. We have a big surprise that uh, a friend of ours, Tim Burdett, uh, down from down in Georgia, has been looking at videos and looking at numbers, and he's figured out gumball. He sure has. So we're going to we're gonna take a look at gumbo, and I'll tell you what's going on there uh, when we look in the pen here in just a few minutes. I've got my ransom money. I have a bag of carrots with me, and I see that uh, Split Ears has already heard me talking and come up here and pacing up and down the fence waiting for me to uh, get in there and give her her carrots so I can take a look at gumball, which now will have not one name but two name. He'll have an AKA in addition to gumball, or we'll put in front of gumball and AKA, I'm not sure which, but it's pretty interesting. And uh, I, I'm not, I didn't look back through anything and double check, but I believe that, uh, I believe that Tim Burdett is uh, probably, uh, probably 100% correct. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just believe that, that he's 100% correct on it. Uh, so we're gonna go take a look at the deer in the pen. We'll, uh, we'll look at the deer at the Brotherhood and take a look at them and uh, at the house and they just are hanging around all the time and might get a glimpse of some turkeys in this video also today and tomorrow. You know, this is a two-part series. We do it on Thursday night and on Friday. So it's, and then we also had the Lucy Herd Friday and Saturday. And last week we run an episode on Sunday. We just had so much video letting the deer out and letting them play and uh, Chris getting to, uh, to, to have some fun with them. And hopefully she'll get to do that again this week too. It's just been so hot. I don't want to let those babies out and let them run much. And of course, when I let them out, it's always a danger that we'll never get them back in again, or, or at least all three of them back in. Uh, so far, uh, that's been happening without too much trouble. They, that building has become their security blanket. Uh, but anyway, that'll be in the other videos. But uh, we got a, a big surprise that uh, I think some of you probably will figure out, or have figured out already, but uh, Tim Burdett figured it out down in Georgia. And I visited with him today, and it was just kind of a kind of kind of a neat deal. But uh, but, but anyway, uh, let's go into pen, see what we got, and uh, take a look at uh, at Whitey, and see he's just he's adding and adding and adding. So let's just cop this nonsense, get after it, and take a look what's going on. Hi, Mr. Big Boy. Hi, Mr. Ford. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ford. Look at all you bucks, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna... <coughs> let me get there, boy. Look at there. Yeah, let me get in that box. Oh, let me just stick my nose in there. Come on up here, guys. Good stars this evening. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful buck. Beautiful buck. You want, you want you to feed me, boss. That's what I'm doing. It's special. I'm forced. Okay, I see turkeys coming back also. All right, I have no microphone hooked up here. As I've told you, there are no microphone hooked up because I have wires that's messed up. But I thought I'd take a quick look at the bucks here at the house, the Brotherhood, as we've become to call them. Looking right there in the big middle, we see TC. He's just looking spectacular. While he's up there looking around, we'll see if we can't get a good look at him there. The sun is just beautiful. It's still 98 degrees, 98 degrees here in Oklahoma. There's Ot 6 with his Ot 8 on one side, 8 on one side. A little deer over there. I'm not really sure exactly what that deer is. I've got some exciting news to talk to you about when we get to the pen. I've uh, been visiting with a uh, one of our friends, uh, Tim Burnett, from down in Georgia, and uh, lives down there near the racetrack in Georgia. And he's told me some exciting things about Gumball. And so when we get to the pen, we'll take a look at Gumball, and uh, y'all can check him out. I did not check the numbers. I don't know what all the numbers are on everything. Anyway, I know that at Ot Six is Ot Six, and I know that. Forrest is, is out four. <laughs> but uh, that's Forrest right there. He's looking just magnificent as he gets bigger and bigger and bigger every single week. He's lengthening out, and uh, he doesn't have a tremendous amount of velvet on his horns, but he's not scraped any off yet. It'll be a while. I don't know what's going to happen out there with TC. TC still got some big knobs on the end, like those are split into, into more. And you can look see that our friends have been joined by... A good flock of little, little jakes 
and hens. There's Jake. There's a, a pretty good sized Jake. Some more hens back there. And uh, there's the more Jakes back there. Just a pretty good little bunch of turkeys in here with this bunch of here. We're, we're looking, we're not looking at, at turkeys. We're looking at deer, deer antlers right now. So you can see that everybody here at the house has gotten bigger from last week. They just keep getting bigger and keep getting bigger and keep getting bigger. Can't, what a magnificent deer Ot 6 would have been had he not lost that side. And uh, that's quite a story, but he had not lost that side. There's a beautiful buck right there. We're just looking at part of his antlers sticking behind that tree there you can see him a little bit better there uh, i'm just going to keep the camera right here i know we got a lot of wind noise i can't really block much of that off for you i do not have a microphone on we're shooting natural sound uh, i've got wires ordered new wires ordered for these microphones and uh, little dongles and then the wire that the dongle attaches to is where we have our problems and you you are always hooking them up and unhooking them to the iphone and and they're just not getting hardly any pressure on them at all. But for some reason, they just do not last very long. They just do not last. And Jamie has problems with his. Jordan has problems with hers. But you take a look at the uh, the brotherhood here at the house. They're looking really good. Looking really good. All right. Let's go uh, see if we can get a nice, good close-up look at Prince Charming. Okay, well, I have to do a little bit of disclaimer on this video uh, because I do not have a microphone on. I had uh, wires; they're just not, they're just, they're not, not working. Uh, and I've got got them ordered. They have not got here yet until they get here. We're going to have some wind noise and some videos. I waited till late in the evening here to try to do these videos. When it cooled down a little bit, it made 107 degrees today. We're walking down here. We see our two bucks that we came to look at right there. I'm gonna get a lot better look at them. And you look at them through the gate right there. Uh, Gumball's gonna move out where we can see him a little bit better. But uh, I'm gonna get down here in the shade a little bit. We'll come back and look at those here in a few minutes. Look how big that baby has got. Will you look how big that baby has got? My goodness, I think he's doubled in size since last week. That is a, a big, big boy right there. That is a big boy, God. Goodness, 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 goodness. Goodness, where'd he go? There he is over there. <laughs> Split ears hitting my hitting my uh, tripod. I'm carrying it along. It's all spread out here. And she, I'm carrying it along and she's bumping into it trying to and just making the video horrible. <laughs> Split ears said, please give me some carrots, Jimmy. Okay. But I know we have a lot of wind noise. I know we have a lot of wind noise. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. I uh, hate wind noise in, in videos worse than anything else, but we're just going to have to live with it, okay? <laughs> okay, we're going to have to get after this program. We're going to have to get after this program here. Split ears is just about to go bananas. She says bananas, bull, carrots. And looky here. Looky here. And looky here. Oh, you got lots of friends up here this evening. Everybody wanting carrots. Okay, all right, let's just get, it, just get this carrot deals over. I only brought about a pound. I haven't, haven't gone to town since church. I don't go to town hardly except church. If I had to take fish somewhere. And, uh, but I've got a lot of appearances coming up the next two or three or four weeks. So I'm not gonna get to, I'm not gonna get to be, look here at all the deer I got gathered around me. Will you look at this? They're just, they're, 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 they're they're after those carrots. They're enjoying those carrots. <laughs> this is a fast feed, isn't it? Come here. Come up here. Let people see you up a little bit closer. I'm right up here, baby. There's my baby split ears right there. And look at this girl. Everybody is coming up here wanting to get in on the action. The big carrot feed, we'll call it. You know what I'm going to do one of these days? I'm going to bring about five pounds out here and fill you girls up until you choke on carrots. Until you just can't eat any more carrots. That's what I'm going to do. All you got was a little one, wasn't it? A little one is better than none at all. That's what I always say. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're running out of carrots in a hurry. I can't feed them to them fast enough. I don't think they're chewing them up. There you go. I don't think they're chewing them up at all. I think they're just, I think they're just eating them without chewing them up. I don't have many left in here. Things, 
girls are so aggressive. I mean, they're super aggressive. I didn't bring enough carrots, I know that. I had to save a few for Snow White. She said, who's Snow White? And do I care? Do I care about Snow White? Do I care about Snow White at all? Not at all. All right, Splitter, since you're my baby, you get the last one, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> Wasn't this something right here? This is really something, isn't it? Split ears is just the carrot. Look at, look at them down here. They're wanting more and more and more and more. <laughs> the bag is empty. The bag is totally empty, girls. Oh, you girls. You girls are really something. You act like you're starving to death. And I know you're not. You got demand feed, South Fresh food, good food. <clears throat> By the way, I was talking to the people at South Fresh uh, this week, or Sherry was uh, talking with Deborah. And they have had a record sales year this year on fish food. That's right, fish food. So a lot of you are really taking care of your fish really, really good. And that's just a great thing to be doing. Uh, growing some big, big, giant bluegill. Those bluegill, when they're good and healthy and they get good food like that, they're going to they're going to uh, produce a lot better. They're going to, uh, during the summer, they'll have bigger spawns, better spawns, healthier spawns, and more of that spawn will stay alive. So uh, you're feeding that South Fresh feed, Fish food to your fish. I uh, guarantee you're making your, 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 your pond or your lake better. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Whether you've got a little pond that's a tenth of an acre or whether you've got something like what we've got here, which is 130 acres, uh, feeding and take care of those bluegill with that fish food is a big, big important part of it. So I'm out, baby doll. I'm out. All the others left. They knew, but she's just hanging around hoping that I've got more. I'm out, girl. I'm out. Hey, let's take a look at these big bucks in here. See what they look like. Cause they're, you got a little glimpse of them earlier. They're beautiful. And like I said, that stinking wind noise. I know it's coming cause it's windy. And it's cooling down though. We got a little shade, but it's uh, 98 degrees when I left the house. It's 7.30 in the evening. Is that amazing? That is amazing.